While Gainax is known for creating some of the best anime out there, like Neon Genesis Evangelion and Garem Magan, it might also surprise you to know they also pioneered a genre-defining original video game series called Princess Maker in 1991. Princess Maker is the first in a series of Bishoujo, or Beautiful Girl, raising simulation games, developed originally for the NEC PC9801, which was much later localized in English on Steam in 2017 as Princess Maker Refine. This game put the player in charge of raising Maria, a war orphan, after defeating an evil demon, Beginning at age 10, players would raise their daughter to age 18 and see her age progression. Depending on the player's choices in the game, one of 74 possible endings representing her job could trigger. These jobs range from occupations like soldier to positions like princess, or even seedier jobs like crime lord. That's another factor to define how well she does these jobs, who she marries, or how many children she may have at the end, too. Players would schedule activities for their daughter each month like part-time work, vacations, education, or resting. Many activities would affect stats that had thresholds in influencing the endings. They could also send their daughter out on adventures that play out as timed RPG-style exploration with numerous events and random encounters spread across the maps. In 1990s, Japan, child-rearing was a female activity, so game designer and series creator Takami Akai explained that this game allowed players to be the father. Players could micromanage their daughter's life, something that normally wouldn't be allowed because daughters would complain too much. In 1993, Gainax developed Princess Maker 2, which inherited many of the original game's features. This time, the player controls the hero who took out the Demon Lord and is called upon by a goddess to raise a child of the heavens from age 10 to 18. The player could choose their daughter's birthday, which also determines her temperament towards certain activities. This game was scheduled to be localized in the West, but the company that bought the rights for the West went bankrupt. The unfinished English version was floating around as abandonware for many years until the game was officially localized as Princess Maker 2 Refine on Steam by developer CFK Co. Ltd. and publisher Bliss Brain in 2016. This means Princess Maker 2 is the game most people in the West are likely to know. Princess Maker 3 Fairy Tales Come True was released in 1997 for the PlayStation, Windows, Dreamcast, and the Sega Saturn. But the game never officially released in English until its HD remake in 2019 for the Nintendo Switch and PC on Steam. In this game, the daughter is a young fairy who wants to be a human princess. The player can choose between six occupations that help in determining their daughter's attitude, social status, and outlook on life. This occupation also determines the player's wages, cash on hand, and social status. There are also 60 endings, but the game doesn't have the RPG-style adventures that Princess Maker 1 and 2 had. The variety of endings and marriage partners is just as diverse as it is in the other games, though. Most notably, full voiceovers were recorded for this game. Princess Maker 4 was developed by Gene X, originally on the PlayStation 2 in 2005, but Takami Akai still served as the supervisor. Character illustrations were done by Tenhiro Naoto, illustrator of popular light novel series Sister Princess, which also got a manga series and multiple dating simulation bishoujo games for the PlayStation and Game Boy Advance. Dance. Princess Maker 4 has a greater emphasis on drama, with full voice acting and scenes hinting at the player's daughter's past, which is a mystery at the beginning of the game. Some of the adult-oriented jobs from previous games were also toned down for this game. The player is a soldier who fell in love with a mysterious woman who disappears on him. She reappears several years later with the child, Patricia, for him to raise. While Princess Maker 4 was later released on PC, PSP, and the Nintendo DS, with more endings and scenes, the game is unfortunately only playable in English with a partial fan translation. To this day, this is the only mainline Princess Maker game without a complete fan translation or official localization in English. Princess Maker 5 is the last flagship Princess Maker game developed on PC in 2007. A PlayStation 2 and PSP version of the game followed in 2008. Unlike the other games in the series, Princess Maker 5 takes place in a more modern Japanese setting as opposed to the fantasy medieval setting of past games. The player can also choose whether to be a mother or father to the girl. Scheduling is done weekly instead of monthly, and there are more detailed choices for how strict the player can be towards their daughter. Players can also send their daughter to explore parallel worlds, but the RPG elements aren't as extensive as they are in Princess Maker 2. The player character is a retired hero from a parallel world. The daughter is a princess candidate whose family was murdered in an attempt to take her life. The butler cube protected her and requested the player raise her to adulthood. Princess Maker 5 was released on Steam in English in 2018 for the first time, but unfortunately the game is riddled with a lot of localization issues and bugs that have kept me from even wanting to try the game out. There have been many spin-off Princess Maker games using the characters from these games, including mobile apps, online versions, quiz adventures, a board game, and a puzzle game. The anime series Petite Princess Yushi, created by Takami Akai that released in 2002, has a main character who is a 17-year-old girl trapped in a 10-year-old body adopted by a knight after battle. Following the fundamental structure of Princess Maker games, the anime also includes the butler cube from Princess Makers 2, 3, and 5. 
Characters in the anime also look similar in appearance to protagonists from other Princess Maker games made before 2002. The Princess Maker games are some of the first daughter-raising games ever made and have influenced many modern games in the genre as well, like Volcano Princess on Steam. Princess Maker 2 is the game I'm most familiar with and like the most due to its richer RPG elements and adventure features that were reduced or stripped down in future entries. The game is also a fairly relaxing 6-8 to eight hour experience or less depending on how much adventuring you do. But due to the game's 74 endings and the way events change according to your daughter's stats, there's a lot of replayability and fun in doing things differently on new playthroughs. The game can also be particularly challenging if you're going for endings like Princess or Ruling Queen. That said, there's plenty to enjoy in the other Princess Maker games if the life simulation gameplay and better visuals are more interesting for you than exploration RPG elements. Very recently in January of 2024, Korean studio Dizard announced a licensing agreement with Yonago Gainax to develop a brand new game in the Princess Maker series along with showing some images from the new game. The game will feature live 2D animation that anybody familiar with VTubers will know of. Just like other games, the daughter Karen will visibly change in appearance as she ages, and the butler cube will be back for this new game too. The game isn't officially titled yet, nor is there a release date, but I'm excited to see the series continue. Hopefully the game will get a well-localized English translation. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.